Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let me go to the, to the other issue. Uh, ECL, he says, I have no grudge against anyone, whatever. Um... Frankly speaking, I don't think I, there is much that I can comment on President Ed Galungu's, Ed Galungu's comment. I think I will, I will not dwell so much on that because I'll be judging him. I don't want to judge him from a personal point of view. Remember, that is, this is not politics, and this is where you should be able to differentiate. There are certain things which are personal. Those things which are personal, you leave them. But those things which are political, then we can, do, we can discuss that. That comment to say, I have no grudge against anyone and whatever, whatever, it is, not, it is not politics. So therefore, I will not dwell on it I'm, because I don't want to judge him. I mean, I don't see his heart. I don't see his heart. I don't see his heart. Except that I must tell you now, away from that, I must tell you a little bit of my experience since I started the since I dropped the Alebule Rapu agenda, there have been attempts to make sure that somewhere, somehow, I suffer. There have been attempts, I don't know, I, I won't say by who, but from, let me just say, from the Edgar Lungu camp, I'm telling you, if by Edgar Lungu was in power, Ina would have suffered by now. I would have suffered. Because in spite of them not being in power, there have been attempts here and there to try and fix me. And this is pettiness. And this is where I hate you. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not using that word without thinking about it. This is where I hate you as a PF. Because you can be very bad people. In as much as Varung is saying, I have no grudge against anyone. But the conduct of the PF and those around President Ed Galungu. I will not say and President Ed Galungu himself because I've not heard him. I've not heard him. But still, when things are happening and you are the guy on top, I don't know how you can absorb yourself from it. I don't know how you can absorb yourself from it. I am very upset, actually. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. Hey, what, what, what? Lungu, 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 lungu. You should know that I'm very upset with your lungu. I'm very upset. And why I'm upset with Balungu? Because they, when they were in power, they used to arrest me for telling them the truth. For telling them the truth. For telling them what could have helped them. They used to arrest me and treat me like a criminal. Inshallah, and it, it hurts me. It hurts me. And now you are out of power. Even now, you still want to do something. You still want to inflict pain on me. You are very bad people. You are very bad people. And for that one, for that one, for behaving the way you are behaving, as I'm telling you, I'm telling you, for that one, I will continue talking about Valungu, and I will do everything to make sure that Valungu does not come back. I want you to know this. For your bad-heartedness, you, you have got very bad hearts. The way you treated me when you were in power, and the way you are treating me now, the way you are treating me, you know. You are going around, first of all, somebody issued a, 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 a decree that all those MPs who, are, who have, who have uh, signed as sureties for Chilifatari should withdraw. There was that decree. Somebody came out and said, those of you who are 
sureties of Chilifatayali, you are PFMPs, go and withdraw. What does that mean? You want me to suffer. You want me to suffer. Next, the M A lawyers, all the lawyers that were connected to Kuliva PF, they have withdrawn. They don't need to write a letter to tell me to say, no, no, we have withdrawn. No, they don't need to write a letter. You can clearly see that they have withdrawn. They had days for, the, for, for my court dates. They just never appear. I understand. And I, I, I'm, I'm not fortering any of, my, any of those lawyers. I'm not fortering them. All I have are gratitude for all the lawyers that have represented me. I am very grateful. I am very, very grateful. Because UPND also has not treated me any better. UPND has not treated me any better. I'm te I, I want to say this. And don't think that I'm a fool. I'm not a fool. And don't think that I'm not alive to this. I am very much alive to this. And I'm not happy because even today, even cases which, even cases where I have, I have, I have reconciled with those that have taken me to court, there are people who are pushing the agenda, still wanting to continue with those cases. You are very bad. You are very bad. You are very bad. And this is, these are some of the things when you say, no, Tari, Tari is not loyal. Tari, whatever, whatever, flip-flops. It is also the way you treat me. The way you treat me. Because I'm also human. I mean, how foolish can I be? I'm sitting there and you are hitting me. You are hitting me and you just want me to take it. You just want me to take it. I am very upset with some of these cases where, where, I have reconciled with other people and you want to, to be funny. Eh? One of them, one of these prosecutors was even coming and saying, no, uh, uh, we are going to cite him for, for we are going to revoke his, his bail because he interfered with a witness and he posted on social media. You know, you know, by UPND and some of you people, these kind of, these bad treatment that you do to people these are things that make you go out of power pf was behaving the same way that you are doing by upnd pf was behaving the same way where are they today where are they be good to people leadership comes for you to rule people to look after people not to treat people bad any leader that comes in to treat people bad we will not last because we are children of God. Leadership comes from God. God gives you the leadership to, for you to look after people. But if you are not looking after people properly, God is not happy. You know, I'm a very straightforward person, a very credible person, very credible. I'm not even lured by the monies and whatever. No, that's not what lure me. For me, it is actually the integrity, the principle. If we agree, whether in good or bad, we agree. We follow that. We follow that. We adhere to that. Not today you say this, but meanwhile you are doing something else. That is what uh, freaks me out. It freaks me out. Why are you pushing cases where clearly the people who are supposed to be victims, they are saying, no, I'm not interested in this case. Why are you pushing those cases? Why are you pushing those cases? It's not only one, because I know in your mind you are thinking of one case, but it's not only one case. It's not only one case. There are other cases where clearly the people that are supposed to be complainants, people are supposed to, be, to, to have been injured, they are saying, no, I'm not interested in this. But there are people in the background pushing. Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing? I have surrendered. I have lifted my hands up. I have surrendered. I have lifted my hands up. I'm saying, I'm no longer fighting with you, PND. I'm no longer fighting with you, with, 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 with government. Not because I'm scared of going to jail, but I believe we can work out something. We can do better if we are in talking terms. If we are able to agree on certain things, we can do better. I want to help people. That's what I want. I want to help people. 
You know, like somebody was just calling uh, over the issue of letting Kandawil. I want to be able to go and engage people over this matter. I don't want a situation where, you know, I want to go and talk on behalf of the family of Mukandawiri. The moment I reach that office, they chase me. No, we can't talk to you. I don't want that. I want a situation where I go to a ministry. They say, oh, welcome, sit here. Hey, how can we help you? What is the issue? I bring out the issue. That is what I want. So when you, when you hear me that I've surrendered, I am not fighting you. It is not fear of going to prison. It is not that. It is because I've realized that if I can be in talking terms with those who are in government, I can achieve much more. I can advocate for people better. When I'm able to have access to those in government, I hope those who have, who have reason can see it. If you are at, if you are at loggerheads, if, you, if, if, if there is animosity between yourself and the government, you cannot help anyone. You can't. Some of you, you think, no, you are a hero when you are talking. When you are talking big things, you are insulting those in government. You think that you are going to achieve anything. You are not going to achieve anything. Because even if I come here on social media, I talk, I insult this one, I insult this one, I insult this one. You think those people will listen to me? You think those people, they will act on what I'm talking about? They will not. They will not. This, you, this is, you need to be mature to understand that. You will help a lot of people if you are in good boots, if you are in good terms with those in government. If I'm able to go to the office of uh, Jack Mwimbu, I'll be able to advocate for people who may be mumma cells, people who may not, who may have been treated bad by the police. Because a Jack Mwimbu will be able to say, oh, tired you have come, come in. Hey, what is your issue? And I'll be able to explain, to say, look, I've got these boys, they are in this cell, they have been there for five days or two weeks. Jack Mwimbu will hear me. But if I'm insulting Jack Mwimbu, you think I'll be able to go and see Jack Mwimbu in his office? And if I'm insulting Jack Mwimbu, and there are people who are in Marcel's for two weeks, I come here on social media and I start shouting, hey, those people are in Marcel's. Hey, what, 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 what? You think that Jack Mwimbu will pay attention? So that is a different approach that I've taken. That is a different approach that I've taken. It is not fear of going to prison. Uh-uh. It is looking at what can work better for me. So, basically, what I'm saying is that by UPND, I think you need to, I'm just saying by UPND, it's not everyone, but there are people that, that they know that where, where it is not necessary for us to fight, let us not fight. Where it is not necessary, let us not fight. Why do you want me to, why do you want me to continue fighting? I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. So if my cases is finefi, I don't want them. These cases, my cases are political. That is a fact. My cases are political. They are political. They are political. So why should we continue? Eh? You arrested me. You threw me in my cells because of politics. Now I'm saying, uh -uh, I don't want to fight you. Why are you still holding on? You know, trying to push me and whatever, whatever. It is just not right. It is not right. Anyway, I have said so many things. I was basically talking about this person who is saying, I have no grudge. And I'm saying, Balungu, that's fine. He has no grudges. But some of these things that they are doing, even to me, where, you know, you incite Navankongole, Avankongole, just that I can't mention, people that I owe money and whatever, whatever, they have gone, hey, you know, go for him, go for him. Go for him. People that really I never thought I'm really owing. All of a sudden, they have come. They are putting bills on me. They are putting bills on me. And they are busy pestering me. And I can see, I know where it is coming from. You are trying to fix me and yet I'm really power. What more if you are to get into power? Hmm. Anyway. This is DJ Mutati. Exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. 
Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I will be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.